Hi everyone, my name is Mr. Tate and I've been teaching AP Biology for the past nine years. This video contains everything you need to know about the 2020 AP Biology exam modified for the COVID-19 pandemic. All the information in this video has been provided by College Board in one way or another, and I'll update the sticky top comment as new information becomes available. Let's get started. The 2020 AP Biology exam will be held on Monday, May 18th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. There is a second makeup window, but most students should aim to take the AP exam on May 18th. That way, if there's a complication that prevents you from completing your exam during the normal administration, you will have the opportunity to make it up. The exam will be 50 minutes long and will consist of two multi-part free response questions. For question one, you'll have 25 minutes to answer the prompt and five minutes to upload your response to College Board. Question two will be a shorter 15 minute question followed by a five minute upload period. College Board intends to provide as many ways as possible for you to take the exam, and you will have the option of typing your answers or handwriting them. Because many students will be typing their answers, College Board has decided not to require students to draw graphs or figures in their answers for this year. The one thing that will be required for every student taking the exam is an internet connection, and College Board is dedicated to getting every student the access that they need to be able to complete their exam. If you don't have an internet connection but are somehow watching this video, you have until April 24th to complete the technology assistance form on the College Board website. Because students will be testing at home with electronic devices all around them, the types of questions on the exam are also going to change. Any information that could be quickly ascertained on Google will no longer be tested. So this year more than ever, the AP Biology exam will be about understanding and doing biology and not just knowing biology. Furthermore, the 2020 AP Biology exam will only cover units one through six which means biochemistry, cell structure and function, cellular energetics, cell communication, heredity and genetics will all be included, but natural selection and ecology will not. Question one on the 2020 exam will be similar to FRQ number one on the traditional exam, meaning it's going to involve interpreting and evaluating experimental results. As I mentioned before, you'll have 25 minutes to answer this question followed by a five minute upload time. It's going to provide you with a real life scenario accompanied by data in the form of either a table and or graph. This question generally assesses your ability to describe and explain biological concepts, processes, or models, identify experimental design procedures, analyze data, and make and justify predictions. Question two on the 2020 exam will be similar to FRQ number four on the traditional exam, meaning it will involve a disruption of a biological phenomenon. In this question, you'll be asked to describe biological concepts or processes and explain the effect of the disruption while supporting your claim with reasoning and evidence. To practice these specific question types, head over to apclassroom.collegeboard.org, click on your class, and look for the optional practice icon on the top banner. Sometime within the next two weeks, College Board intends to release an additional practice tool to get you familiar with online testing, so hopefully it won't be your first time seeing the interface when you do it on May 18th. Over the next few weeks, I'll be releasing more videos to help you prepare for this new exam. So subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when those videos are released. Feel free to ask questions down in the comments section and share this video with both your teachers and your friends. Good luck and stay safe.